Now, as you can see, this is really very noisy. How can we increase the quality of our render, which is very important on, uh, on this situation? So the way you do that, remember here on the rendering, we have different options, but uh, the most important one is gonna be the pixel samples. The other thing uh, that's also gonna be relevant is here on the object section, on the light, you will have a sampling quality here. So let's say I'm gonna increase the sampling quality to um, two or let's say four. It's gonna take a really long time to, or it's gonna take a lot longer to render this out, but it's not gonna take as much um, as long as if I were to increase the same amount on a global, on a global parameter like here on the out, if I increase it this to 12, or something like that. That's gonna take forever, okay? But uh, so I'm just increasing the sampling for the light effect. Of course, I will need to increase this a bit as well. So let's say four by four, and the minimum, the maximum rays, uh, I'm gonna increase it to eight. But again, I'm gonna go back to the light, and the light's gonna be to, I'm gonna increase the sampling quality to three. You can also do a snapshot of what you have. Just click this little button here snapshot. That way we will be able to compare. And having done this, you can just hit render and wait for it. It's going to take a bit longer to render than before, but the result should have a lot less noise. Let's go to this section here. I'm just clicking on this section so that it jumps to this section. As you can see, it's a lot less noisy. Of course, it could be better. It could still be cleaner, but this is already a uh, just showing that we're going on the right direction. It doesn't take that long to render, so in this case, we, we won't have any problem, any trouble just um, going to our, you can either increase the sampling quality here to four, you can also go to our mentor node and increase the pixel samples to six by six, which is kind of a pretty standard value for um, final images. The maximum ray samples, I don't think we will need more, but let's have a look at if um, that's gonna be enough. Let me stop this and just uh, make a snapshot so you can see before, after, and now we're gonna render another one that's even cleaner than this one. Of course it takes a lot longer. Okay, so it's not cleaning all that much, and the reason for that is because I'm kind of blocking it, establishing a limit of the maximum ray samples of eight or the noise level is still too high. So I'm gonna put this to 12 and reduce the, noise, the threshold to 005. Now this, you should notice that it gets slower but it gets cleaner. Already, if you compare with the previous one, the first one was terrible. The second one was on the right track, but this one is cleaner. Okay, so you get the point. Now I'm just gonna stop this, and I'm actually gonna do this for both. And the only thing, just pretty much the same thing we have here. So I'm just gonna copy this. And the main difference, and besides the name, so let's go sec, secondary, lighting and here on the um, images, the output, I'm gonna make sure that instead of main, it says sec, secondary lighting. And finally on the objects, we need to tell it the, the force, the object that we want to render is Iron Man, so that this is fine. But here on the force lights, we need to create a, another light. So go to object, we only have this one. It's exactly the same thing. The only difference it's that it's the sec. And we need to change, let me go to the object view. Let me hide this one. So this one will have a different name structure when we're selecting the, the object that we want. It's gonna be the ray sec. Okay, and we grab all the secondary rays. Now going to the output, 
we just uh, we can connect this already and here we just select the other one wait a sec they have the same quality because I just copied one to the other and the same camera images the name is already corrected so we're good to go all we need to do is just I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna save this file and after that I'm just gonna hit render to disk and wait for it to finish the, the render now that the render is finished let's have a look at what we have so this is gonna be the the main the effect of light and reflection on the surface of Iron Man for the main rays and for the secondary rays we have this cool now we can move on to the just gonna save and move on to the sparks